This first video on Excel is just to kind of give an introduction to kind of the layout of Excel 2007. First and foremost, you need to understand a lot of the menu operations are kind of hidden in this little round uh, Windows or Office button here. So the ability to save, save in different formats is here, and also the ability to print. Uh, periodically, there may be different functionality you need to add to your spreadsheet, and you can find those under the Excel option button that we find here. Uh, we may do that in a later video. All right. So also, it navigates through these little tabs up here. So the home button pretty much gives you the paste cut functions, text, format in the cell in terms of alignments, and also the ability to do some sorting, uh, some mathematical equations, and then some formatting of the cells and the spreadsheet overall. Insert functions, smart shapes, smart art shapes, uh, the different types of charts or graphs that you can put in, and also the ability to hyperlink text boxes, so a lot of ways to modify your spreadsheet. Uh, pivot tables too. Uh, we won't go much into those, but those are kind of interesting if you ever want to play with those. Page layout, kind of the orientation of your spreadsheet, how it's going to print in terms of the print area. Uh, alignments uh, can be found under page layout. Formulas, this just categorizes the different types of equations and formulas that are here. Uh, a lot of time when you start typing one, it will just come up with the different choices. Or you can search under these for the different types of formulas if you're interested in them. Data, uh, just to organize stuff, we'll see later in another video that we can use under the data tab how to create drop down menus. So this is important. And then how you can view and different review things if you're passing spreadsheets from individual to individuals and also spell checking along that line. Uh, most commonly I find myself in the home tab. Another interesting thing just in terms of layouts of spreadsheets, uh, you can add sheets. So down here you see sheet one, sheet two, sheet three. You can put different information on these sheets and what's also nice is you can reference other sheets from other sheets. I'll give you an example of that here in a little bit later. First in terms of layout, we'll see on the top here how we call columns and the columns are given letters and down here we'll see rows. So I'm going to highlight the B column and I'm going to highlight that in a gray color and I'm going to highlight row number five and I'm going to highlight that in a blue and then where they intersect right here I'm going to make white. This is referred to as a cell. And in this particular case, because we know it's column and it's row, we can give it a name and it is B5. Now what's nice is we can always refer to this particular cell by this name and no, naming nomenclature. So for example, uh, a common function used in Excel is the equal sign. When you put in an equal sign, it is now going to expect a formula or a reference of some sort. So in this case, if I put equal B5, in that window and push enter, it will return actually what's in the B5 cell. Now it's kind of fun and interesting here is I'm going to click on here and I'm actually going to change B5 to test. And now when I push enter, we'll see that the cell that I'm referencing this cell, B5 cell, it changes based on what's in there. That is a common functionality that you'll utilize a lot in Excel. Just to show this further, we can actually recall information from a different sheet. So as you can see here, I'm on sheet number two, and I'm going to type testing in it, and I'm going to push enter, and I'm going to go back to sheet number one, and right under here, I'm going to put equal, and I'm going to navigate to sheet number two and click on this cell. So what I'm telling actually in the cell that I clicked on before is please reference this cell. And this cell is in sheet number two and in cell A1. So when I push enter, whatever's in sheet number two and A1 will appear here. So let's go back here and I'm going to tame this to fun. Now when I go back to sheet one, we'll see that this changed accordingly. So once again, I'm trying to just create the mindset of how we can use the equal sign in terms of referencing. The equal sign will also allow you to do simple math if you wanted to. And if you're always curious on what you're typing in here, like for example, this is test, but obviously that's not what is actually in the cell. Find out what's in the cell when I click on it. 
up here is the formula bar and you can see that it says equal B5. Likewise, when I click on fun, we'll see that it's equal sheet two, cell A1. I can also just do a simple math problem. So I can do equal five plus five and it'll return the answer 10. All right, so that's some pretty simple things just to give you a general overview of how Excel works.